I like a do da cha cha. Welcome back to Otaku Daikun. Dai here. As you can clearly see, I've got myself a new avatar. I think it looks pretty spiffy and hope you like it as well. Since it was made in Vroid Studio, I'll be able to do all sorts of cool things with it beyond just facial tracking. Assuming I get the budget, I'll be able to get hand tracking and other tools so it can be more than just a floating head. Anyway, y'all are here for fate memes, and I'm here to provide them. Normally, I source my memes straight from my Discord, but this time, I picked my favorites from a Facebook page called Gudiko's Unusual Anime Page, which I've linked in the description. This benefits you guys because it's all organized, and many of the images have their original sources in their Facebook comments. After all, so much love goes into making these, and the creators deserve to be acknowledged. If you find your meme here, please say so and we can celebrate. Now, to start us off, I want to make do on a mistake from my last memes video. The initial clip was supposed to have audio, but it somehow got deleted. I fixed that, so please enjoy. <laughs> How many coups does it take to screw in a light bulb? Actually, that's hella impressive for such a tall ceiling. <laughs> I could just imagine Kirei running down the train to stay in Kiritsugu's line of sight, like a stereotypical romance scene. Don't you just wish that every time the game lagged, it was just loading a nice gold summon? Has this ever actually happened to any of you? My skill that grants evil alignment to others. I wonder what will happen if I use it on those who possess a good soul like that master. I'm very interested. I should try it out. Oh shit, has Moriarty just created the abomination that is Gudeko? Who here plays FGO on the toilet? I guess servants don't appreciate that. <laughs> Actually, I'll use the John as a catalyst for the next summon and see if it helps. Shame on me for usually not looking at the enemy names, because they're funny. Attack of the Champagne Opener! He's like, why? By our kingly decree, we declare that if we must dress as a Smexy Bunny, so too shall all the Knights of the Round. Artori is down for that equal opportunity fan service. Mashu here. Today I'm planning on doing some training. Pum pum. Full of vigor as ever, aren't you? Here, a towel to wipe off your sweat. Mashu's used towel. Today's bidding starts from 50,000. Kaldea's gotta get their gotcha money somehow. Family time at the beach. Kiritsugu's sure taking an early start to training Shiro in the family business. So Waver's shocked by how edgy he's become. Alexander's pretty good. Gilga's a bit embarrassed. And Jill? You'd better be weirded out. A lot went wrong there. <laughs> I don't think we need Sherlock to put this one together. Ku must have thought he could get some snack. When the Artorias aren't paying attention, shout Borger and their whole faces light up. Me and you, and you and me, we fought each other in the war. And you will see that even though we swore to be great enemies, we're happy together. Okay, so all the lore of Babylonia really just boiled down to this in subtext, at least for some fans. At first I thought this was something about censorship, but now it's just adorable. Serene's got this smexy cleavage window in her clothes, but Emiya thinks the shirt is torn. He fixes it, making it look like a face, having no idea he ruined the shirt's appeal. Or at least I'd like to think Emiya mistook it for a tear, otherwise he might as well be Sony. Who needs sleep when there are materials to farm? Ironically, whenever I grind for too long, I wind up falling asleep faster than when I actually go to bed. I can't count how many times I've woken up on the couch to find I was in the middle of a fight. Oh no, Artori is so bad. Get that girl some ice cream on the double. Though Emmy is the one with true culinary taste. Going for the soft serve. Merlin, no! Don't be that kind of pet owner. Vo, just remember you could end him if you really wanted. Seeing this just makes me wonder what Kirei's actually afraid of because in a fight I feel he could take Pennywise. So without foul play, there's no contest. Of course, when you bring in Gudeko, there's absolutely no chance for the poor bastard. Now, I could be reading this wrong, but isn't this the wrath of servants who are sick and tired of being forced to grind? Like, take those golden apples and shove them up your ass! <laughs> if so, Waver's gonna kill me. 
Okay, so this isn't ethical, but this was how my mind worked during Shinjuku. Am I alone? I have found the weakness of your noble phantasms. If I stand in front of you, you can't hit me. Now this has got me thinking like Peggle. Assuming the swords have linear trajectory, I could still imagine a shot that hit her but not him. Plus, I've seen them blades curve before. Wait, why the hell am I helping Gil? <laughs> I'm so glad FGO has support servants. So long as you have friends, you can use most any servant even when the gotcha screws you harder than you'd want to screw the servant. Even then, let's not hate over who gets lucky. It's not the player's fault, unless they're a whale like Giguk. The power of the sun and, uh, death, I guess. Hassan's all like, I don't want any glimpse of life left in my meat. Speaking of death, how's Hassan gonna behead Kirby if you can't even tell her head from the rest of her body? <laughs> Oi, I'm not done talking to you. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, damn. Atalante's trying to keep Caldea wholesome. Good luck. <laughs> I love how, like an animal's tail, an alge can convey a multitude of emotions. Didn't know they were legit that sharp, though. <laughs> Honestly, if Nero likes Ritsuka as much as Hakuno, she'd probably be totally okay with this. In this case, though, the window's for show only. Damn. <laughs> I think Kiara and Maeve both have this problem. Every enemy you encounter is another entity that they need to bang. Let it be known that libido saves lives. <laughs> You've heard of Galaxy Brain, but Kiara's got Galaxy Cooch. <laughs> I love how believable this is. It's at the point where you've got to shout, STOP KILLING YOURSELF! It's hard enough keeping you alive as is. Now this is part of a larger set of images, but I figure we need some wholesome memes from time to time. Honestly, the best part of FGO is how it provides a chance for the dead to find happiness despite their tragic pasts, even if there are different versions of a lot of them. Sansan san, may I have a princess carry with you? <laughs> You'd think lifting those guillotines would give you better muscles than a tentacle. What realistically happens when your sword sheath is longer than your arm span? <laughs> Not sure what's crazier, that sword or Okita Alter's shoes. Tiamat looked so sad at the end of Babylonia. It's one of those weird conceptual spaces though, so you could probably kill a ton of time in one and return to reality like nothing happened. Anyone would look badass with two guns. Damn it, I... I want that! <laughs> now tell me that's not an official reference to Unlimited Blade Works Abridged. I wish to order only two things. Spam, spam, and spam. Oh wait, that is three. Is it just me or is spam disgusting? Not sure why Artoria likes it. <laughs> I love how Mashu is so blunt about it. You killed Senpai! And yet she expects us to get up. Perhaps one does not necessarily die when killed? When you team up with another servant to get the Holy Grail, but they just turn you into the Holy Grail. Well, Shinji, has abusing servants ever amounted to anything good? <laughs> I feel like Kiritsugu's got a metaverse palace where Artoria legit looks like Graham Chapman. You can't expect to wield supreme executive power just because some watery tart threw a sword at you. <laughs> I don't mind joining the harem if Master wants me, but how did they get harem protagonist as a skill? Mages wouldn't normally have that, right? Oh, I gave that to Ritsuka so they could protect humanity better. Thank you, almighty, all-powerful Saber Shiki. <laughs> if you squint really carefully, you can almost see two proud lions roaming across the savanna. To be fair, if I had Ritsuka's bod, I'd want to rock Mordred's wardrobe too. Plus, that cape looks so cozy, though I doubt it's faux fur. So basically, never anger Mashu while going down on her. Imagine if they taught that in self-defense classes. Now this priest on the right knows what's up. It's too bad Kirei's getting the wrong idea. Father Kotomine, is that a real gun? Only one way to find out. <laughs> oh no. So when Artoria orders a frappuccino, Shiro draws an adorable lion on the cup. Oh, how lovely and gallant. I love how she actually uses the word gallant. She's clearly on another level than the rest of us. <laughs> Mashu, on the other hand, is trying to tap into modern pop culture. I don't know if Cap's shield is better than Galahad's, but Mold Camelot? Perhaps. My bond levels with Musashi-chan have reached level 10. All right, let's aim for bond level 11 now. Don't bond levels only go up to 10? He declares his passion for strengthening their bond level even further, and it actually works. 
Too bad he's gonna come around one day and see her listed as no data. <laughs> so who knew Fuyuki's Opera House had a replica bat cave in its basement? That or Bruce Wayne's like, what the hell, what are these guys doing in my bat cave? I better not screw with them. Although, I would like to see Wayne and Kiritsugu debate the ethics of killing criminals. Ah, <sighs> and that's all, folks, for now anyway. If you love fate memes like this, be sure to check out the link in the description, or join my Discord where even more classics can be found. Until next time... Ma! Ma, there's a weird fucking straight cat outside! It looks... It looks like grandma the fucking thing! Thanks for watching! If you enjoy this channel, help me beat the algorithm by liking, commenting, and sharing the video, subscribing to Otaku Daikun, and, most of all, smashing that notification bell so you don't miss out on all of my anime discussion, lore, or Let's Play content. If you want to support me directly, there are now three ways that all provide the same benefits. You can click Join here on YouTube, or join Patreon or Subscribestar for access to exclusive vids and early access. As always, celebrate your fandom!